All right, so what we're doing now is the uh, client prep, which involves shaving this uh, hairy bastard. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go into a further detail about shaving technique, but I'm just gonna go ahead and just shave him right now. All right, so shaving is actually a much more important part of the tattoo than a lot of people realize. Because what happens if uh, you don't shave your client properly, and you leave like a little bit of uh, a little bit of stubble or a little hair too long? What'll happen is uh, when you're doing the actual tattoo, and you see like hairs protruding, the needle will actually because you're working the area so much, and there's so many times the needle's going in right there, you can actually get the hair to get punctured back into the skin, and what'll happen is an ingrown hair which you don't actually realize it offhand until the tattoo starts to heal and about three, four days into it, you're gonna to start to get a red bump and um, ingrown hairs are actually really hard to get rid of and they actually greatly affect the way the tattoo heals if they're severe enough. So it's very important to get a nice, good, clean shave without overworking the skin or irritating it too much. And there's also, there's a lot of different techniques, you know, I've heard people say over the years on how to shave, but the best way I recommend doing it, a little bit of soap and water, you know, uh, green soap, what you use to clean it off normally. A little bit on the paper towel. Rub it on the skin. And um, instead of shaving like your face like you would normally, what I usually do is like, uh, and it's like kind of like in a circle, almost like an oval, not an exact circle. What you do is when you pull the razor forward, you push it back into the skin. What will actually happen is it clears all the hairs out of the razors, the layers of the blades. So it gives you a nice clean stroke for when you come back into it. But you want to make sure you do it real light because if you go over the area too many times, it starts to irritate the skin and it gets very red and irritated and you definitely don't want that. And also, just like in tattooing, the taut of the skin, the better. And the chest usually isn't too bad because the skin's pretty taut, just with the uh, muscle structure and the way it is, the skin's not too loose. But you definitely want to do the same thing like you would with tattooing. You want to place your hands in there and get a nice clean stretch so the skin's nice and tight. And as far as the actual brand goes, it's not really too terribly important what you choose, but in my experience, it's definitely better to use a um, you know, a disposable razor, obviously, with um, at least two sets of blades in it. When you have one single blade in the razor, it just tends to take a little, uh, a little too much effort to actually get the hairs off there nice and clean, you know, and again, it comes back to the whole overworking it, which you definitely don't want to do. And you want to give one good final clean wipe to make sure you didn't miss any little spots. All right, so after the client's all prepped and shaved and ready to go. <laughs> it is time to start tattooing. And definitely don't throw the razor away because what happens is a lot of times you don't realize it but you might miss a little spot here or there with the hairs and uh, you'll need to just do a quick little touch up with the razor later on. So definitely keep your razor on standby when needed.